Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. thank you for joining me, let's play some more City Kings 2 Building Tall. Prosperity increases in uplands. Cool, people are joining my war, yay! I'm so glad to see that, hopefully they'll just uh, kind of make it, you know, automatic. Uh, why are we getting, okay, so like, okay, Jarl, this dude, is different from this dude. What is up with, uh, some of them are popping up like this? Is it because you're like an ally? Yeah, you're an ally, which has got to be different than the tribal thing. Okay, that's cool, I guess, sure, fine. We're a bit stressed out because we educated a dude guy. My grandson needs an education. All right. Um, you are already indolent, willful, and fussy. It's uh, the swords with you, of course. The stockade. You must train, practice, get strong. Ragnar smash. All right. So, a couple comments in the last video talking about how uh, we need to actually be burning down holdings if we want to really get all the cool viking traits, berserker and stuff like that, so totally gonna be doing that. Uh, siege leader is gonna get subbed out for me, cause I'm awesome and I get to lead the center. Let's have I can't even pronounce my own son's name, how bad is that? Uh, combat modifiers. I mean, he has no real good combat modifiers for, like, choosing good, good tactics and stuff, but he does have 18 martial and I want him to get good traits and stuff. Like, let's slow the game down here and just, like, watch to see. I don't remember, it's been so long since I made, like, my, uh, my mod. Um, I made a mod a long time ago called Clear Combat, which revamped the combat system of the game. It changed it so that you couldn't do all these different tactics. You wouldn't have generic skirmish tactic, volley tactic, shield wall tactic. It only had, um, there were five options. Well, there were six, actually. There was, uh, bad tactics, poor tactics, average tactics, good tactics, great tactics. And then there was no tactic. And no tactic could only happen if you didn't have a general in charge, because it was it was a disorganized levy, right? They had no one telling them what to do, so they, they would use no tactics. And then it was a sliding scale. The higher their martial score, the better they, the higher the likelihood of them choosing good or great tactics, and the lower their martial score, the more likely them that they would pick bad tactics. Basically, it just kind of averaged it all out, made it very clear, very clean, um, and it even had visual indicators so you could see exactly uh, what kind of tactics they were using instead of having to hover over everything. Like... The problem is, like, this generic skirmish tactic, it, it's the same symbol as, like, the light cavalry charge, or... Th there's a bunch of other tactics that use this symbol. So, but anyway, um... My point is that, uh... There are some modifiers in the game based on martial score and certain traits that affect a character's, like, likelihood of using a specific tactic. In this case, our son is a uh, 7.4% chance to do generic skirmish tactic. Uh... 67% chance to do shield wall tactic, and that's probably due to the composition of his levy. Mostly light infantry, a couple infantry, a couple, sorry, a couple archers, a couple heavy infantry. So, uh, right now, we're getting light infantry defense, archers attack, whatever. The, the light infantry defense is kind of nice because we're trying to close the gap in this, in this skirmish phase here. Let's go all the way down to like speed two. And he's immediately routed his enemy. And there's no, there are no tactics in the, in the pursuit phase, it's just pursue, so. We, on the other hand, are very likely to choose shield wall tactic, but we can also do charge on undefended flank. We're more likely to do generic skirmish tactic. Again, that could be because of the, the variation in the composition of the army, or possibly because we just have lower martial score. So, anyway, my, my, my whole point is just that um, even though he's a siege leader and he's not that great at combat, like, he doesn't have any direct modifiers to the unit's damage and stuff like I do. Again, my guy has got uh, lightfoot troops plus 35. And, uh, I believe we can still see that. If we go into here, and we look at, uh, here, we should- it doesn't actually show the modifiers, um, like it used to, which is kind of annoying, but, uh, the defense values are certainly higher, I think, 1.7, 0 0.8, and 2.1. Never mind, they don't appear to be increased at all. I don't know. I think I think a long time ago, they just changed it, right? And, and now you can't see that information anymore. You just have to just sort of trust the system, right? I'm just gonna keep looking around for a second, see if there's anywhere I can hover that will show me those modifiers. Maybe it's on a maybe it's outside of combat. I think I do this every time I play. I, I want to find the damn numbers, right? There's some modifiers, so we actually have 2.0, 1.0, and 2.5. Light infantry attack plus three percent. It looks like even with the three percent, maybe it's not large enough to actually round up to the next decimal point, or maybe 
I don't know. It'd just be, I don't know. It'd be nice if it actually showed the numbers. The modifiers and stuff. Whatever. It's fine. Righteous imprisonment on my grandson. Grimmer. Uh, he's trying to kill Refer. Ragnarsson. Huh. We turned this off for a second, so I've got a grandson here who's trying to kill my son, Refer. Stop? I mean, you're supposed to you're supposed to murder each other in in the womb somehow. I know you're grandson and son, but still, you, that's where you're supposed to kill each other. You're not supposed to kill each other once you're out of the womb. You silly sharklings, Ragnar's people. Oh, I'm trying to murder someone. My wife. That's right. She did something I didn't like, and she just knows that I tried to kill her. Oh right, she's she's Tangri, and I think she like converted somebody or something. I don't know. Made me angry. Ragnar wanted to smash her in the face. Many, many, much times. Cap captured some guy. Cool. Uh, before we leave, let's go ahead and just assault this thing back. And go take back this other holding here. Right, so I definitely do want to start raiding more. Um, we're 57 though, we're probably going to die soon. We could switch off a hunting focus to try to ex expedite that process. Goodmunder here, dude, is going to be pretty good, so not too unhappy about that. He's married to a strong woman who's 30. He's got a, a strong boy, so the, the, the gene pool looks strong and good. Happy to see that. Let's go back up to speed 4. And are you going to escape? 10th? Yes, you are. Nice! Wait! Thor Thorbjorn, my son, has at last returned from Greece. I'm pretty sure I checked to see and he was actually, uh... He's, he's leading troops according to this thing. Where are you? Go to character. He's over... Okay. Whatever. I thought he lied to me. But he's come back, he's gained the trait Varingi, and he's gained 300 gold. I gained 300 gold. Sweet. Thanks, son. Appreciate it. Good job, my boy. I have 69 opinion of you. How perfect is that? So we have a ticking war score working for us. We're killing some armies and stuff. The actual war leader's personally held territory is where? Oh, I looked at the wrong guy. That's that's me. It only holds one title. Okay, well let's let's go down there and siege that. Go through there and then down to there. We have another daughter that needs an education. Fair enough. None of our buildings are, none of our holdings are building any buildings right now. Let's see if we can fix that. We do have a little bit of prestige. I remember the last time I played, I was trying to get most of the uh, the structures to have level two of everything. Okay, so that takes care of most of them. And with this 759 prestige, I think I would like to maybe upgrade the Upland Tribe Capital holdings, so that's where we train troops with our marshal. But then after that, I want to get the uh, the lower rank stuff. You want to become proud or humble? Monthly piety. I mean, monthly prestige is, is technically more useful, I think. We'll see if we get it. We didn't get it. No big deal. We still have righteous imprisonment on refer. We keep on getting caught murdering, trying to murder my wife. That's funny. Hmm. All right, this is definitely a job for my boy. Oh, Ragnar. No real modifiers or anything, but uh, hey, that's cool. Where'd my son go? Oh, he's, he's in the right flank, that's right. You should be able to point to me even if he's over there. Everyone at court loves my dog. He's nice. Yes, you may have my granddaughter. In holy matrimony. Yes, finally we're gonna murder this stupid... weird looking woman with her weird hair. Nice! Those nasty bandits, good job! Alright, we're over our domain limit. Let's see if we can find, uh, I don't know, let's try to make someone who's strong. Any strong women out there? None. Not a single one. I mean, it probably wouldn't be a good idea for me to make any more babies right now, but hey, if we can, we might as well try, right? She's two. Pretty sure we can't make any babies with a two-year-old. Mostly sure. 
I don't know, I've never tried. In the game, of course. Of course in the game. That's just dirty. Uh, let's make sure we've got, um... She's a 19-year-old homosexual. Hmm. I'd like to find someone who's got decent enough stewardship. Let's go with, uh... You. You've got slightly better stats than this one. I don't care that you're homosexual. It really doesn't bother me. That sounds really bad if you think about it. I don't care that she's a homosexual. It really doesn't bother me. <laughs> well, yes, I know you're homosexual, but, uh... It's okay! Come to my bedroom, woman. Crap, I forgot to appoint my leaders again. We lost, uh... 500 troops we didn't need to. At age 35, Bithfield died in battle. Excuse me? Why was this woman in battle? Whoa, she had a cool trait. What's this thing? Shield Maiden. This character is a shield maiden recognized for her remarkable bravery and spirit. She may also be made a commander. No wonder she was in battle. Well, she's not re not recognized anymore. <laughs> that's for sure. Because she's, she's dead. That, that's why. She died. This is a family affair. My son, my grandson. Uh, born by... Not the right son, but still. Oh, we went the wrong way. Let's see if there's any more family members we can make into, uh, into commanders. Also, I'm not really using this whole thing here. Isn't there a, I, I thought I remember there being a way to auto-assign those at one point. Wasn't it, uh... I don't remember. Maybe it was a mod. It must have been the, the, uh, the after the end mod or something. Alright, um, people trying to kill- alright, just, just stop trying to kill each other. Please. And I was going to appoint commanders is what I was trying to do. Alright, so, grandson, my steward. Okay, my steward probably shouldn't be a guy, because he's going to be busy all the time. My grandson here. By all means, let's make this into a good family event. My seer, he's going to be busy all the time. Let's grab my son. We got grandson, grandson, son, son. Your vassal and your vassal. Alright, is he... He's a chief. And these guys are not actually appointed anywhere else, okay. You've got mounted troops and some defense. That's kind of okay, but... Yeah, I guess we'll keep that. So most of our guys are appointed. That's nice. We have 82 war score right now. Of course, that's not enough. He's not going to surrender. 1.11... Sorry, 1.12 for the Battle of Umia. We'll have it eventually. We appear to be capped on war score or something? I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's really progressing that fast. Let's just, let's just stay here. Looking forward to playing as my son. Because then we can just lead the center all the time. Even though he's not that good at it. But when you have a, a guy who's like super good at leading the center, you can't really not lead the center with him, right? Army of Captain Tiber. Deber is dead. No war score from battle there for that. Okay, fine. My trusted and devoted Chamberlain has brought to my attention that one of my serving mates has given birth to a child. According to him, my son is the father. Sigurd, the misguided warrior. Well, I mean, his attractive little 13-year-old is, is too young to bed, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm not surprised that he's finding something to do. Guess they would busy, right? Alright, this is definitely a situation where we want to put ourselves in charge and... Uh, let's take, uh... We'll bring our son. I mean, he's just so good, we can't not take him, right? Up to 92 war score. I think I'm fighting battles that don't actually matter. Don't don't actually matter, and I'm kind of okay with that. You want to marry this one to my son? I accept. just makes such a sizable difference here. That you can't not do it. Both of them are so important. Alright. Cool. And we're done with that war. 
Bring everyone home. How are we doing on retinue cap? 249. We've got the house Carl retinue. Takes up 600. I definitely think we want to do light skirmish for raiding. That takes up uh, 580. Wow. They're all pretty damn big. I wonder if these numbers changed at all or have they always been this large? I thought I remember seeing one much smaller before. Oh well, that's fine. Can we raise technology? Maybe we can actually get that going. I remember I was saving military points because I wanted to build more ships. If I'm not mistaken. We have 33 boats to our name right now. Let's see, who, who else can we attack? Like, I, I do want to continue to consolidate in, uh, I don't know, Scandinavia feels like it's going to be too large. Now that we're actually strong enough, maybe we should just, like, sort of get rid of everything outside of Sweden. We could grant, uh, Finland to a son or something. I own land over here. What if we created the Kingdom of Finland and then granted it to our dynasty? That'd be an, a good goal, right? Finland's over here and expands down in this way a little bit. Uh, yeah, I, th I think that that would work just fine. That means that we could attack this guy. Who's got 3,570 some troops. He does have enough prestige and he is, he is Slavic, so I think he could raise the, uh, the light infantry guys. Unfortunately, we only have conquest. Single province conquest. Also, we should probably consider maybe expanding towards the, uh, that thing. That's not part of Scandinavia. Alright, how does our religion look? We only control one. We need to have at least three. We've got... The holy site of Uppsala. Sjallans? It's here. Or Sealand, I think it's called. Hold on. Tholen, Zealand, and then Lejre, Zealand. Yeah, I don't know. We can definitely get this one, and then I guess we gotta go for this one. But we only have to make tributary against him. So you don't have a claim on that county. We've got Ulfur, the Chancellor. No one would accept invitation to court. I wonder why that is. Opinion of Tok. So they like their 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 guy. No reason to move. How about I want to like you know press your claim? That's that's a good reason. There's a concubine here with a claim. This guy doesn't like him as much. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna work. We'll have to wait until uh, I don't know. We have the opportunity to, to do it. We got a claim on this province. We've already just gotten a truce with this guy. Our CB against you is for people that are not of our dynasty. They would just become independent. There's no point in pressing that. It's so not the de jure liege of that land. Up you, up you up here. Yeah. Well, that gives us something to do. March. We have a new heir. Excuse me. How did you become heir? We're getting passed. People are not voting for me. They're going for a different son. The tough soldier. The paranoid tough soldier. Huh. I mean, he's younger. I do have a brawny 19-year-old grandson. We could just skip all the way down to him, but that... that hmm. Well, the strong guy is going to be in our dynasty anyway. Ragnar might end up being our heir after all, actually. Let's see if we can get them to vote for this guy instead. 16 versus 8, 16, 7. I mean, he's not that much worse. And he could upgrade himself to a better soldier at some point. Got a 22-year-old organizer. The grandson. No diplomacy, though. Let's try this guy and see if people vote for him instead of, uh... 
Refer. They may be returning favors. I'm not really sure what the hell they're doing. Go for me, right? You betrothed to somebody. I cheap of Pomerania? No. Okay. Well, um, don't know what to tell you. We're playing chess again. And he beat me. Cool. Well, for now, I want to take a break here. Let me know what your thoughts are. Do you think we should, um, Stick with just Sweden or go up to Scandinavia? I mean, it seems like we kind of need more land anyway just to form, reform the faith. So maybe we reform the faith and then we go back down to just Sweden. That might work. Let me know what your thoughts are. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.